Hey everybody, today's rapid fire question is, how do you avoid a worthless quote? So I think this is an important question to answer because a lot of folks are gonna be rate shopping. And by the way, um, I'm gonna be hosting a live event uh, about rate shopping, sharing with you my tips and tricks on rate shopping hacks. So if you're interested, uh, just like, subscribe, and I'm gonna be announcing when that's gonna be happening soon, all right? But in any case, so how do you avoid a worthless quote? So answer this question is number one is you want to ask for a fee worksheet okay you want to ask for a fee worksheet or at least a detailed itemized uh, worksheet or an excel sheet or some form that is outlining how that fee how that rate is actually made up because when they provide that to you and if it's anything but you know it's showing into sections a b c's of a loan estimate then you should just run away. Just throw and trash that email. You know, if it's just some blanket like statement on a, you know, on an email, hey, here's your quote. Um, you should kind of be skittish about it, only because you know a fee worksheet is not that hard to produce. Okay, no matter what lender or loan officer says or what system, they have the ability to do it. All they're trying to do is they're trying to avoid you shopping around. But you have the right to shop around. You know, you have the right to shop around with A, B, C lender to make sure that you are getting the most fair deal possible. So ask for a fee worksheet so that you can see the breakdown. Now, second is you gotta avoid, like if you are seeing most of the rates that you're getting quoted are let's say in the fours these days, or sometimes in the fives, and all of a sudden you're getting a 30 year fix that's in the threes or a 15 year fix that's in the twos, your alarm, your BS alarm should kind of go <laughs> go up, right? Saying, hey, is this really true? Because We've seen our lend, you know, we have like a group of lenders that we kind of like talk and work with uh, on Facebook groups. And when we kind of like shop around against each other sometimes, and then we see these crazy ads these days on, let's say, April 14th of 2022, where they're saying, hey, you can get a 15 year fix for 2.5%. We get curious, you're like, how are they able to do that? Maybe there is something that we don't know. And we make a phone call and we shop against that advertisement. And what do we find out? Well, it requires like five points. That's crazy. 5% to get that rate. And so, and when we asked another lender, hey, you're advertising 2.75 for a 30 year fix. I want that rate. Oh, sorry. It's four points to obtain that rate. What? That's false advertising. And the APR is even wrong when I do the calculations. I mean, it's pure math. And they're falsely average. And some of these are giant lenders out there, giant, and they're advertising falsely. So you just gotta, you know, it's like, so why isn't the government everybody chasing them? That I don't know. You know, I don't work for the state. But the main thing is you have to be a smarter shopper. Your BS meter has to go up if everybody else is quoting something and then this lender is quoting something just crazy below. Crazy below. Now, there are instances, there are instances when the rate is super low, it's like lower than almost anybody else, but it's true. In those cases, it goes back to step number one that I said, ask for a fee worksheet. We actually had a lead or a client that was shopping against us and they said, I just can't believe your rates are so incredibly low, I think you're lying. It happens, you know, we try to be fair and we show our, our fee worksheet, how it's built up and everything, and they still think we lie because, you know, they're, uh, they're a little bit skeptical that, you know, we are trying to be an honest and good company. And it happens, you know, but it also happens when, you know, my, I had a friend of mine who was buying a house in Southern California. Um, it was a jumbo loan. And I think the loan was like 1.5, $1.6 million. And I provided a quote to him saying, hey, this is what we're, you know, what I'm able to do. And then he provided a quote that he got from a local credit union and they offered an amazing jumble deal, you know, and I just had to do a double take and say, okay, let's ask for a fee worksheet to see what it's built up to be. So, you know, we finally got one and I looked at how it was structured and it was the real deal. And I said, you know what? You shopped and you did a fantastic job. This is an amazing deal. You have to go with them. I mean, I would go with them because it's so good. And so, you know, in those cases, again, it goes back to the fee worksheet or the loan estimate so that you can do an appropriate contrast, compare and contrast of, you know, is that a fair deal or not? But if it's anything but that and you're getting some kind of like a text message or an email with, you know, no detailed breakdown of how that, you know, rate or that loan structure is made up, just turn around and walk away. 
And at the end of the day, if you are kind of like skeptical and you don't know who to trust, um, you can trust me. You know, just feel free to email me or contact me. Um, I'll leave my, I guess, my generic contact email below so that you can reach out to me. Um, but, you know, I'll be here to kind of answer your questions if you have. Um, you can always just shoot me a text or shoot me an email and say, hey, I got this quote. Do you think this is accurate? Do you think this is fair? And then I'll give you a simple response back. Um, I might not be in the area or state that you are buying a home in, but I'll still do try to do my part to answer your questions. All right. All right. Hope this was helpful for you. Please like, subscribe and comment below. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.